This is part two of our series on reports in Access Databases, and we're going to be looking at how we can do some calculations in our reports. Some nice little summaries to tell us about the information that's in the report. So to put a summary or calculation into a report, we need to know about what field or what control we can put those formulas in. And the form, the control that you need to use is the text box. That's the little one over there. So in the, when you design, you can add a text box to your report and then you can write the formula inside the text box. You can't write normal text in a text box. If you want to write normal text, then you'll use the label like we showed you in the previous video. But any calculation, you must use a text box. So what are the types of calculations that you can use? We're going to do a couple of them. We're going to start off with some aggregate functions. Um, so these are general summary type things. So for example, the sum. If you want to add up all the values in a particular field, then you will say equals sum. And then in brackets, you will write down the name of the field that you want to do the summing on. It's very similar to Excel, except for instead of like cell references like A1 to A10, you'll just write the name of the field. Now you'll notice that the field name there is in square brackets. That's because that's how the format is. If you do not have spaces in your field names, then you can write them just as they is. And then, um, or just as they are, and then they will put the square brackets in for you. Um, but that if you have spaces, then just use a square bracket. So that's going to be the format that they use. Another one is the max, which finds the biggest value out of that particular field. And in this case, we're finding the biggest outstanding value. And then there's the min, which is the smallest value. Maybe you want to find out what's the smallest number of payments. And then there's the average, if you want to find the average amount paid. Now, just take note of this one. This one, all of them are very similar to Excel. So if you know Excel, you know these, except for this one. Just take note of this one. In Excel, it's average. We're here, it's AVG. So just remember that. And then there's also a count where you can count how many records there are. So you can count all the emails, for example. But because you're counting all the records, you actually don't need to specify a particular field. You could actually just use a star. So when you use count, you can actually just say just count star, count all the records. That will also work. Now, take a look at those first four functions, so sum, max, min, and average. Now, just a little tip here, those can only be used with numerical fields or fields that have numbers, fields that have currencies, those type of fields, which makes sense. You can't find the average of a surname. You can't find the biggest name. So that doesn't make sense, but you can find the average amount paid. You can find the sum of all the outstanding amounts. Anything to do with currency, anything to do with the a numerical value, you can use those first of all. But count, on the other hand, you can count anything you want. You can count surnames, you can count number of paid, or you can count anything. So when you use the count, you can use any field in the count, or you can use a star. Okay. But another rule, these these functions you can't use these functions in the page header or page footer so you can't find the sum of all the values on a particular page or the sum or the max of all the values on a particular page these will not work in the page header and footer so don't put them there okay so yeah remember that if you do want to put a formula in the page header or page footer these are the probably the ones that you would probably use so for example maybe you want to put the current page number you can say equals the page keyword in square brackets it'll get you the current page number maybe it's page one or page two maybe you want to say the total number of pages so then you will have the pages in square brackets and that will say there are eight pages in this document so a nice thing would be to say equals page of pages which say this is page one of eight or two of eight for example Maybe you want to put the date in, so then you can say equals date, open brackets, square brackets, or not square brackets, round brackets. Um, that will get you the current date, very similar to what we've done in forms and that. And then if you want to use the now field, that will give you the current date and the time. And then you can obviously format that to display just the time or just the date or something like that. So you can use those in your forms as other functions. These ones are, are the ones that you would probably use in a page header and that. You wouldn't use the aggregate functions in the page header or footer. So let's go to our report. We designed one earlier, so I'm going to right click on it and go to design view. And so we can change all the details of our report. Now you'll notice that by default, it's already added a couple of like the now and the, the page of pages. It's already did that for me, which is part of the default ones. So that's already been added. So that's nice. Um, so let's have a try. So most of our formulas that we're going to learn, we want to find the average of everything in the report. So we want to put them in the report footer. That's the ideal place to put them. So let's put them in the report footer. So we need to go find a text box. There's a text box. Boom. I click on text box and I'll drag it down here and it'll give me a label and a text box. 
So let's move it here. So let's find the, the sum of all the paid. So we've got the paid there. So let's go equals sum, open bracket, and then you can type in the paid field. Now, I didn't put square brackets because I typed it just as it is. It will put the square brackets in for me. And here I can say the total, total paid. So give it a nice little label. So we can have this field over there. So there is in the report footer, we put the sum of the paid. I could also put it in the report header, but that's not really a great place to put it. But we put all our formulas in the report footer. So there's my text box. Let's go see what it looks like. Let's go view. We can use report view. So there's our report. If I go all the way to the bottom, because that's the way the report footer is, there we go. You can see that the paid is formatted. Oh, it's not formatted. There's the total um, the total amount paid by all of these. Now, I don't like it because the format's wrong. It doesn't look nice. These are currencies. I want that to be currency. So let's go back to our design view. Now, when you want to change the what it looks like, you can just right click on it and go to properties. Um, now, I'm going to show you two properties. I'm not going to change it to currency. That would be the easiest one, just to change it to a currency. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do what some people think. Oh, let's change it to decimal places to two decimal places. So they just change it. If you change a number, let's pretend this was a number field and I want to change it to two decimal places. So you see that I clicked on it. It's two decimal places. But if I go view it and I go all the way to the bottom, do you see it's not actually showing to two decimal places? And you go, why not? Well, if you ever change a field to decimal places, you need to change its format. Now, if you change it to currency, that'll be fine. But if you've got a normal number that's not currency, make sure that you select fixed. So if you change the four, the decimal numbers, make sure you also change it to fixed if it's a normal number. So if I go to report view and I go view it now, now you'll see the two decimal places. Or you could just change it to currency. In this case, we're going to change it to a currency. And then we can put the little R in for it. Let's go view it one last time, all the way to the bottom. There we go. That looks a little bit better. So you can do those types of things if you wanted to. Let's go do another form formula. Let's go do the average. So we're going to add in another text box, which we put on the side here. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to say equals, not average, but AVG of the field. And we've only got the paid field, which is a numeric field. So I'm going to put paid in there. And we can say this is the average paid. And then I want to count all the fields. So let's put in another text box. Boom. And I'll put a little text box over there. Boom. And in this field, the total records, total records. And in this formula, we're going to put equals count star because we can just use count star. So there we go. Okay. So if we run it, you can see all those fields right at the bottom, all the way to the bottom. There we go. You can see the 101 records. That's the average paid. We would obviously format that to a currency. And there we got the, the total. And you can use the max and the min in the exact same way. Now, just to show you a couple of things, if you misspelt the field, so if I say paids, there is no field called paids. If I run that, it's going to ask me for a box here yeah, saying, hey, what's this field, this paid field? I don't know what it is. And you can cancel it and obviously give a problem. So remember, you must make sure that you've got the correct spelling. And you can't obviously put other text in here. You can't put your name in a text box. Um, you would put your name in a label because you want the text to be displayed as is. And just to show you why you can't use these in, let's just, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go to the footer, the page footer. I'm going to paste it in the page footer. So there we go. So there I've got a count in the page footer. I'm going to see if this actually works. So total records per page. For this, I'm going to go to the print preview so I can see each page. So there we go. This is page one. So I'm going to go to the bottom of page one, and you see it gives me an error. It doesn't like those aggregate functions in the page footer or header. So please don't use them there. You must use them at the bottom of the field to get the sum of all the records in the report or the average of all the records in the report or count how many records there are in the report. So there we go. Those are your functions that you can use. As I said, you could put a text box in here, and you could say equals the date open bracket close bracket if you want but they've already got a now there so you can do things like that that would work but yeah so there we go there's your report calculations for more videos in the series on reports as well as other access and excel videos go to our youtube channel click on the subscribe button follow us we'd love to hear from you so leave a comment click on the like and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way